I'm a peanut. Look at it. Look at it. Um, you know, my family and them, they're from Galapagos Island. Y'all seen the Proud Family movie. Dun, 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 Beautiful people and welcome into a week ish and we gonna we gonna learn about that ish real quick <laughs> um but a week ish in my twist out i did not get to record like an intro because i decided to actually record this kind of you know thing after the fact but this is what the twist out looks like this is a video i literally posted i think right before my mother's day transformation nice and juicy this is day one and i wanted to go ahead and just kind of share like realistic 121 percent authentic how my hair looks looks throughout the week ish <laughs> so you guys can like actually see what I do with my hair throughout the week especially from a content creator perspective and just see how I care for it how I don't care for it, all the above so I hope you guys enjoy a week ish in my test out day three honestly this video is only for evidence and evidence only <laughs> but this is day three I mean my curl is considering the fact that I literally have not been doing anything with the hair at all it is still super freaking duper defined um i've just been rejuvenating i literally was on a whole day of no sleep so all i did was sleep all day yesterday so all i did was throw my twist out in a bonnet and um same day same thing for today um i did the twist out friday slept all day saturday sunday we're still rejuvenating because the exhaustion <laughs> that I feel is ridiculous and I'm trying to like even get my voice back and things of that nature. So I don't know, I don't even know how my voice sounds right now. I feel like it sounds deeper, but um, yeah, this is this is what we do. As for like how my hair feels, still super moisturized. Um, considering that literally the only thing on my hair was the cream, I really like it. My hair feels super soft. Um, and it doesn't feel heavy, doesn't feel crazy oily. I'm also not getting any breakouts. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like in the past, um, when I did like overload my hair with more products than necessary, I felt like I had to 121% keep my cap on, like my satin bonnet on, or else if any of my products rubbed off on my pillows or anything that I lay on, I would see breakouts in my face from it just because of having that excess oils and stuff like that but literally i actually took my bonnet off because it was a little too tight and no i don't think my head is big i think the bonnet is too small but i took my bonnet off because it was just giving me a migraine and um i've just been laying with my hair out and i ain't got no worries for the rest of my face this hair is oil free ish so don't judge me me free two days later it is day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. it is day five and this is a content day so i have content that i need to create and i feel like i can stretch out this twist out just a little bit longer and elevate her so i wanted to actually elevate her because i know she's frizzy i've been pulling on the strands i've been like i don't know like i don't know about you guys but i, I like actually separating the curls even more which is creating more frizz and i know that but like i just like to do it whatever so i wanted to go ahead and spice it up and kind of give you guys the background i don't think i'm gonna do like a full tutorial anyway but i just wanted to really show you guys how i be looking though i went i took out my my garbage just like this my neighbor saw me she didn't say nothing who finna check me i just you know like a little cone head what actually happened was my bonnet was downstairs so i need to find something that's satin lined that i could just throw on my head and these are the caps i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but i mentioned um i did like a black on business haul and these caps in like a couple of other colors were something that i like bought because i genuinely will throw these on if i have like braids twists whatever um and i sleep in them like i literally just in them so i just threw it on their satin line um and now this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be now gonna let my hair tell on me but yeah this is how she's looking as y'all can see listen listen although it is looking a little crazy i'm not even gonna lie this the twist out is still of the twisting okay the definition is still there, okay? If I actually really and truly took care of this and probably maybe like 
just retwist it. I genuinely think I'd be fine. Actually, shoot, I could honestly just throw it up in a puff. But like I said, I got content. So I wanted to give you more so like the realistic <laughs> background of what it is to be like also a content creator, but also like, you know, do different content for different platforms. So for me, if this was like a regular schmegular day and I had somewhere to go, I most definitely would throw this in a puff. Um, but I've also noticed that um, I'm trying to avoid like putting, I forgot who I saw it from, but I, it was probably somewhere on TikTok where they were talking about not putting your hair up in the same way so that you're not creating a um, routine of breakage. And I always put my hair in puffs. That's why I also wanted to do like the double puff. So if you're like consistently wearing puffs up and then you're like playing with the strands, you're creating like the breakage up here and that's predominantly where it's gonna be. And I kind of want to experiment with like a twist and curl situation. So, not gonna be lazy today. We're gonna actually try to do some little, little different, different, okay? So I went ahead and sectioned my hair. I wanted bangs, so I created like a little, a U part section right here. Two sections on the side, one section on top and one section at the bottom. And the only product that I'm gonna be using today is this rose water and argan oil curl loose from Moisture Oil African Pride. And I'm gonna probably create the same amount of twists that I did in my twist out video um, per section because I'm going to be using these purple perm rods. I want my curls pretty small and I keep forgetting my hair is a little bit shorter. So I really want that nice little curly fro. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and did a few of the sections off camera just so I can really get a grasp of things. I don't plan on doing a full on video. So <laughs> this is as much of a tutorial as we are going to get, especially since this was kind of like my first time trying this concept. So what I did was I went in with the detangling spray. At first I was using my water, but I realized the detangling spray just helped a lot better when it came to actually detangling um, the older twist style and I also have like a lot of fairy knots in my hair so your girl is definitely in do a 4 a trim then I went in with my shampoo brush um, and I used that to detangle and this y'all already know how I feel about my brush okay she's just gonna help us get everything slick and smooth and then I twisted up the base I learned as I was going on that it's best to twist longer than you actually want your hair to be twisted because when I actually put the perm rod on and I kind of like do the wrapping motion, the wrapping motion actually untwists the hair. So what I would do is if I wanted like my hair to be twisted five twists down, I would twist it down 10. That way if I wrapped it up five, it would actually just still be like five down you know math <laughs> but yeah so that's something i figured out because i realized i was actually unraveling the twist as i was twisting and rotting my hair as i was going on so i just made sure to twist a little bit longer and then roll it up the amount that I actually, up to the amount that I actually wanted the twist to lay. And then I went in with the foam and just made sure that I kept everything really nice, slick and smooth. And then in the front, I switched over to orange perm rods. I wanted like larger, more bouncier curls in the front. So I switched over to the orange rods, especially since the front of my hair is relatively long and I wanted to like really have it kind of like shrink up or at least have like nice big curls. It's the final countdown okay how long has this been taking me it's longer than it longer than it needed to longer than it needed to win i swear to the coral wards if i come out looking like shirley curly Somebody named Sue. I'm gonna have a problem. So this is what we're working with. I'm going to actually sit underneath my hooded dryer for this because I know the last time I've done a perm rod set to like my whole head like this was prom of 2015. And I was so sad because that still did not dry and I let it dry the whole day. Especially because I know I made my sections pretty big, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm setting myself up for failure, but I'm still hoping for success. So, 
we shall see. All right, you guys, so it is officially the next day. Um, this is how we're looking. I let it air dry overnight. Well, I let it dry overnight, and then I also sat underneath my hooded dryer today for about 30 minutes just in case but so far it's it's feeling so good i feel like the sneaky part about rollers isn't the outside it's like once you unravel everything and they release anything underneath and i know how i roll them so there could be a what, what? thank you let's unravel one and see okay let's go do the first one let's we just go i'm just I'm Like so, like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's giving. <laughs> unraveled um i mean it dry um the curls are here um it's giving foam 99 beauty supply store wig um we we need to pick this out <laughs> i'm a little scared but i'm gonna go in with my pick and see how how this comes out and um yeah, hopefully I don't look like 99 cents store mop. That would be nice. And we're back! Okay, here's final look, final look. We're making it work. I don't think the whole like curly, um, you know, like ringlets curls are actually really all that, like especially like big ones, roller set kind of situations. I feel like for some reason, I've just never really liked the look. Maybe just because it reminds me of like, 90s wigs or like what curly wigs literally used to look like before they actually started adding texture so i'm very much big on like super small ringlets you know the kinkies the curlies i just like that texture um of of if it is going to coil like i feel like i like that texture better i feel like once you get bigger it just it's giving goldilocks you know it's giving three little bears in the woods it's getting who ate my porridge you know and I don't want that. <laughs> what day is it? Today is Wednesday. So, this is the fifth day. Yeah, this is day five. So, this is day five hair. She's chucking in strong. Definitely has like a pretty good amount of buildup, but <laughs> I kid you not, I guarantee this will be up in a puff tomorrow. I just, I, I feel it in my soul. I have errands to run today. So, I'm very intrigued to see how my hair is actually going to last in the Florida humidity. I'll see y'all tomorrow for day C. Early the next morning. It's day six. Y'all already know what it is. We throwing it up in a bun or a puff. Either way, I'm content with either or decision. But that, that, that's, that's, unless, honestly, unless the curls actually do look good underneath here, I did not re-roll them. I did not do anything that would remotely suggest these curls are still in contact or still put together, which is honestly why I don't really like doing like rolling sets or curl sets of that nature, just because I feel like the maintenance for it in terms of like of keeping the curls, like I'm not trying to re-roll my hair behind. But I'm not just, I'm just, I'm just not trying to do that. So we shall see how she looks. Let's, let's get the diagnostics. Ooh. Yeah, it's giving very much lock. <laughs> like this is the front. 
like this is just this is this is this is like I would either have to go in and probably like go the rod or, or a curling wand and like you know just spruce up a few areas and I ain't trying to do that um, truth be told so like some of the curls you know they're there but it's 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 giving locks <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in a bun and I'm gonna put it in a yeah I'm about to put it in a bun so I'm gonna use a little bit more of the leave-in detangling spray just to help me get some slip I have more content to record today um, with a special guest which you guys will probably see before this video so I'm recording Mother's Day content today which I'm excited about but also a little stressed because I have a lot of content to record oh my hair feels really soft though that's really nice you already know my arm workout for today it is currently what time is it I think it's already 10 o'clock yeah I've been up since <laughs> 7 trying to prep um, and get this space set up and then I'm taking pantyhose I couldn't find like the one that's actually like the leg piece this is like the part that goes around well goes around your waist um, but this is the only piece I could find I don't really like using this part because I feel like it's not as smooth and gets caught in my hair um, a bit more but listen it is what it is all right let's get this Ooh. yeah it's I look like a Twizzler I look like a pack of brown Twizzlers yeah it's going up in a bun <laughs> this is going up in a bun baby it is going up in a bun I'm about to pick this out so I can get a nice Big old bun. Shawty got a big old bun. Oh yeah. Trying to get myself energized. <laughs> this is this is my morning routine. <laughs> um, trying to get myself energized because like I said, I have a lot of content to record today. And what I don't think people realize is that although I have so much energy for you guys on screen, a lot of that energy can be really draining. Um, I'm not always on 10 <laughs> um, all the time, and so I can get exhausted, you know? I'm gonna just use some bobby pins. I wanted to do like my cute little like super high top knot, but honestly, I'm just gonna swoop and pin and hope we get something that looks cute. I, I, I hope, I hope. <laughs> This is literally what I hate the most because I'm like, all these damn bobby pins. Could have just gone in with my little string and then my little twirl around, get a nice little bun, call it a day. All right, this, this is about the best I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just use my edge control and you know, this is, this is my go-to, this is my ace, this is my top, top player. Um, and honestly, if your edge controls ain't working, just make sure you do not have all this stuff on the base of your hair. Remember how I was saying like, oh, like we don't read the instructions. A lot of your edge controls actually say to start on a clean base and people miss that. And so if you put it on top of say an oily product, you're gonna break it down. You're gonna break your edge control down. So I always try to avoid putting like products on my edges. So that way when I go in with my edge control, it doesn't like ruin it. Hopefully this doesn't cast because I most I probably should have just used the gel. All right. We're already here. Look at that. Already looking better. I look like a cone. That's what I look like. And then to like get all of my little flyaways and stuff out the way, I just go in with like the tail end. I love this pattern. I already bought a second one of the pattern edge control. I just love the brush they have on it. It's just not, it's, I've used so many edge brushes and it's just not, it's just not the same. Um, and then I take the tail end and I just glide that and slick it in. Cute. And then we just go do one 
big swoop on the side. I cannot do the 50, 60, 6 <laughs> jumping through hoop swoops like I used to. I just, I don't know. My little two on the side just be getting me right. I'm gonna just leave it at that. I should have used my string. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna go ahead and let this set. And this is pretty much how we are doing day six, okay? The scalp is itching, the scalp is a little dusty. It is definitely time for a little wash of the day. Um, but we're still trucking. We're still trucking, especially given the fact that we actually like turned this twist out into a twist and curl situation. I say we're doing pretty darn good, okay? Day six, we lit. <laughs> the next day. All right, you guys, it is day seven. It is officially Friday. It has been a week since I last did my hair. Today, I actually ended up redoing my bun. I took out all the bobby pins from yesterday because the bobby pins was for the birds. And last time I checked, I don't fly. So I went ahead and took out the bobby pins and I did my string method <laughs> for this bun. And that's why it's sitting high, it's sitting pretty, okay? And then I just went ahead and redid my base. I was not planning on recording today, but the Lord, he looks out for me, you know? And so um, I'm actually able to finish the rest of my car. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at it. Uh. Listen, what can I say? I like my hair big. I like it hot, okay? I like it touching the sky. You know who's up there. You know who is up there. The Almighty, okay? Um, and I need a little extra anointing <laughs> to get me through this week, but this is the bun when I go ahead and use my string. It's just so much more uniform. It's just so much you know, top tier, giving you ice cream, no cone, because we're watching the calories. Um, but yeah, so this is how we're going to rock our hair for filming today. I had to finish up <laughs> the last bit of my Mother's Day content and um, just like the final touches for stuff that I have to do. And then I will literally be spending the rest of the day editing from dusk to dawn and probably literally into tomorrow morning and then saturday whatever's left of saturday <laughs> i'm gonna use as my break and i probably won't actually get to wash my hair until monday so this might actually be longer than a week maybe i should just call this a week ish in my hair um because honestly that's that's what it's looking like but i want to cut it and i want to do a wash treatment and cut right afterwards so i might just wait till monday to at least be able to wash it but I won't have to wait until like Wednesday, Thursday or so, like another whole two weeks to actually go ahead and style my hair. But it's Friday, Friday. This is how we looking on Friday. All right, you guys, I, um, I'm giving it to you real, unfiltered. <laughs> um, it is officially Monday. I most definitely should have washed my hair if i was any old regular person i probably should have washed my hair either saturday um i was this close to actually washing it on sunday but i thought i was going to have to leave the house and i was just like here we are my bonnet was downstairs um i couldn't find my bonnet last night so you know i had to go old school and <laughs> wrap it with the flag um, but this is how my hair is looking. This is where I get myself in trouble because leaving my hair like this is literally what causes breakage. Um, but literally there just ends up being a point where I work like six days a week, almost 12 hours every single day. And then I'm like, I need a self-care day. And sometimes for me, part of that self-care is just not having to do anything hair related. And then my hair gets neglected until it's time to either record something again, or it's time for another wash day, which is something I've been really trying to make sure that I don't do. Um, so I'm most likely going to get the chance to like wash my hair um, tomorrow, if not Wednesday, which is still pretty late. Um, I have a lot of errands and stuff to do today. Um, I have I'll have a lot of work to do. I'm going to make this more presentable because I'm going to have to go on the road and I'm going to be seeing people I actually have to go on the road in a couple of minutes. It's like eight o'clock in the morning. So I got my morning voice with me and my morning crest with me, okay? 
my skin's glistening though. <laughs> Work-wise, I do have a meeting today. So that's why I'm also trying to um, get this, get, get this together. Uh, because I got a lot and I have to literally go pick up someone in like 10 minutes. So I'm gonna do something with this. I don't know yet, but I'm gonna just do it. And I'll um, come back and show you guys. And hopefully I can end this, this a week <laughs> in my hair um with my hair finally washed that is how i'm gonna end it and be like yo we finally washed it and i hope the next clip y'all see is a video of me and my hair is finally washed one eternity later to the wire to the limit to the wall that's how long i've kept my hair from me a week ish <laughs> in my hair it has literally been two weeks that, to the limit to the one to the to the to the limit to the why to the that listen <laughs> i have pushed my hair to the limit okay i have pushed my hair to the ultimate limit all right um it is two weeks officially two weeks um actually two weeks in like two days um because friday was two days ago today's sunday oh my god today's saturday child <laughs> it's just been listen it's been a week my root when i tell you my roots are thicker than corn porridge corn meal grits with no water pudding not american pudding jamaican pudding my hair is th the roots ah, the roots okay um it's time it's time but i wanted to honestly just be real honest with you guys like my hair is super matted i'm pretty sure the ends of these like do you see that at this point i have locks at this point I have locks. <laughs> um, literally the, the perm rod, like, do y'all remember how big those curls were the perm rod? <laughs> Things have started, are on the cusp, are on the brink of locking up, um, and it's definitely time for me to go ahead and wash. Thankfully enough, you guys actually <laughs> wanna see how I detangle my hair to get it all nice and smooth. Um, I don't pre-poo anymore, so literally I'm gonna go in the shower and do my little thing. I am going to be repairing my hair, and I'm most likely, most definitely going to make that a whole little video where i show how i take my hair that's like basically locking up my hair is brittle my hair is dry it's in deep need of a protein treatment hella moisture <laughs> um and just overall tlc so i'm definitely going to record my wash day but this is the last day we made it. mama we made we made it we, we've come a long way we've been led astray but we're here this is the final verdict <laughs> This is how my hair is looking, child. A weekish, might as well just say two weeks. <laughs> my realistic two weeks in my hair. What ends up happening behind the scenes? Um, you know, this this is this is this is a whole lock. I'm telling y'all right now, that's a whole lock. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> go ahead wash my hair. Um, definitely stay tuned. Probably the next upload or a couple videos. In this you'll see how I even just manage this whole monster monster uh but yeah thank you guys for sticking with me i hope this <laughs> helps you realize that i'm definitely human it's definitely you know life happens things happen hair ne gets neglected but that's why we're gonna throw her up in some braids and a wig after this so that we can neglect her properly as in we could just you know let her do her own thing and just let it be let it be let it be let it be you know i have to get one last song in but yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning into a week ish matter of fact two weeks <laughs> in my twist out because this is still the same twist out that i did yes <laughs> um it has definitely come a long way let's go ahead and show where i started started from the top now we're here okay um so yeah so thank you guys for rocking with me i hope this gave you guys a little bit more behind insight and you know you don't feel as bad when you be skipping a few days but try not to do so i'm gonna tell myself the same thing and try not to do so just the same okay as always if you're loving me if you're loving a wooden wash day 
for a little bit more than a week z <laughs> do not forget to subscribe down below so you never miss an upload baby what is you doing <laughs> and i'll see all you beautiful people in my next video bye loves mm -hmm.